doctor of medical laboratory science degree. It's a six-year uh, training for medical laboratory science practitioners, which is actually recommended by the West Africa Health Organization. Now, this tier of professionals are particularly being trained to serve the West Africa community and the world at large. Their particular importance and difference comes in the depth of knowledge and the skill sets that they are being trained to deliver quality medical laboratory services. The time in which we are and the complexity of disease and the dynamism of prognosis demands that a very high level of knowledge is imputed to people to commit to testing accurately and delivering reliable results. If you don't know much, you may not be able to tell because the variety of diseases and the complexity is changing very fast. And you need very highly qualified, trained people to deliver quality stuff. And therefore, the Doctor of Medical Laboratory Science program, which is a six-year program, which is recommended by the West Africa Health Organization, these graduates are the first of their kind to be fully accredited in our country by all institutions and then to get inducted by the Allied Professionals Council. This is a fit that nobody can ignore because this then starts the beginning of a certain new expectation for medical laboratory services because this is the beginning of a delivery of quality, a very high world-class quality medical laboratory services. You cannot continue to have a situation in our country and elsewhere where you can walk into a hospital and they cannot be sure of what is wrong with you. To be able to be sure, you must have enough knowledge and skill set. And this is the promising future of our continent, actually. Government of Ghana, which I can speak for in this matter as a board member, is fully aware. And the Ministry of Health, over the years, had worked closely with the Allied Professions Council to set this up and this is the reason why they have been officially inducted to practice today. It means that a lot of work has gone in the background to make sure that when they come on board, there is what, going to be enough resources to allow them to deliver the service that we expect of them. Because just the human personnel is not enough. They need certain equipment, certain set of reagents and supplies to be able to deliver. And this government is fully aware. And preparation has far been done to make sure that they don't come and just hang around the health facilities, but they come and deliver quality services.